Welcome back everybody. So this is part two from the previous video. I wanted to show everybody that I did record the parameters um, of my tanks. This is my clipboard with all my tanks listed and keeping track of pH and nitrates and so forth. So, all right, so today we are gonna feed some uh, frozen brine shrimp. And I've got uh, three cubes here. I just cut them in half. Um, I'm feeding these to 20 gallon tanks that uh, aren't really that heavily stocked, so uh, I don't want to feed too much. And, um, you know, I've figured this out because a lot of times when I feed this, um, the food doesn't get all eaten and gets kind of left at the bottom of the tank. And uh, I don't want to have uh, too much, too many nutrients going into the tank at one time. <clears throat> so put a half cube in here for my rainbow cichlids uh, again remember these are two female rainbow cichlids and uh, they're hiding in the back right now but the uh, the brine shrimp there you can see is starting to uh, thaw out and they will start to <clears throat> smell that and get to it here real quick I'm really excited about getting these out into a bigger tank and get a colony of them going uh, again, these would be part of my Costa Rican biotope. Not sure on the location yet, still researching that. But um, that'll be soon to come in the build. So they are a little skittish. They're on a bottom row, so that probably has something to do with it. Just me standing over, and I've also got the camera going, which they're not used to. But uh, you can see they're getting enticed out here with the brine shrimp. And there you go. I don't feed brine shrimp a lot to these guys. Uh, rainbow cichlids really prefer a higher veggie diet. Um, in the wild, they rasp at algae and detritus. So uh, I do, do want to feed them this once in a while, but um, a lot of times I'll give them pellets that have uh, some sort of a decent plant-based um, ingredient. So this one rainbow stick out front, she's uh, the smaller one, but she is the more dominant one right now. Um, they kind of take turns back and forth a little bit. Uh, the other one in the back there used to be more do dominant. She's a little bit larger, but essentially they get to like breeding mode. And although there's no male in this tank, they will lay eggs on that rock or on the heater in the back. Um, so a pretty cool fish, and they do kind of rip up some plants, although I'm getting a little bit of val to spread in this tank. So, All right, so now we'll do another half cube here with the Sumigo signifers. <clears throat> there's seven in here. Great little uh, blue-eyed rainbow fish from Australia. And um, I think I've got four four males and three females in right now. This is my original colony that I've got a ton of babies growing out in the tank above this and they do a great job with this uh, brine shrimp. They are insect eaters so um, they're used to, they're good with protein, they prefer it. So this adult brine shrimp, frozen adult brine shrimp is really great for them and they're really beautiful fish. Um, when the males kind of signal, which is why they're called signifers, signal the other other males for territory or dominance, it's really pretty neat. They flare their fins. They have that white edge to their fins. It really sticks out really bright. So really neat fish. Again, excited to get these into their own larger colony. I've got a bunch of their babies growing out that we'll be excited to add to a larger setup. All right, let's get another, another half cube. Next up is the knife live bear. This is the Alforo coltratus, again from Costa Rica. This will be part of the Costa Rican biotope. I've got seven of these. These are from Greg Sage, uh, the Greg Sage line. Um, if you guys don't know Select Aquatics and Greg, please look him up on YouTube. He's got a great website, selectaquatics.com. And uh, he shipped these to me. 
and I'm starting to get some fry on these guys. Fortunately, I only have one female and six males, so I'm really trying to get the fry grown up and grown out as fast as possible because I really don't want to overstress this female um, and shorten her life in the process. So I am excited to get those into their own tank with the rainbow cichlids. I will put these guys in first just to kind of get established and possibly even move some of the males over there first to kind of give the female a little bit of a break. And uh, hopefully by that time we'll have some of the fry grown out and be a good size. But really cool fish, uh, very subtly colored, kind of that yellow, not many yellow fish in the hobbies. And this has kind of got that buttery uh, yellow with some blue iridescence. They have like a blue eye and um, the males get like a dark edge to the tail. <clears throat> really cool behavior and um, very, very cool fish. Excited about getting these things going. Next up here are, is my grow out tank and this has some baby pseudomigill signifers and some baby Alfaro Cartatus, the knife live bear. Um, so these are growing out really well. Um, I don't know how many are in here, honestly, but it's obviously heavily planted and we're gonna put um, a half a cube in there. Sorry, buddy, my uh, other camera died, so I'm switching my phone here. Um, but, so these fish, uh, again, the large ones, we'll eat that uh, adult brine shrimp and pick at it, so we'll kind of let that defrost in the tank. some of these the larger signifers. Again, I apologize for the glare. But some of them are starting to get some edging on the fins, some darker edging, which I think are gonna end up being the males.
Alright, we'll come back to that one later. See all the plants here on the top. in here, uh, six black skirts, two uh, Bushnose Plecos, um, and you can see a, a, a big Amazon sword, a ton of valve that's grown all over the place, and just covered with um, a frog bit, and just the, the roots on this frog bit are just crazy. And all I've got is a small internal filter in there, no heater. That's the male angel in the back on the left. That's the female. Female's definitely a more aggressive eater. Um, and the black skirts, the males will come out. Females like to kind of hang in the back a lot. Females just they're a little bigger body, thicker. And then uh, I got a albino male pushing over his hands and feet on that rock. And female you know, using on the back as well. Oh, it looks like the angels have some eggs on the leaf. That's what the male's doing. This tank is all wiped off as well. Okay. Alright, last one we'll put. These are defrosting pretty quickly, so. Hard to do this one-handed, folks, I'll tell you that much. Just making a mess. All right, there's two big angels in here, that uh, German blue blusher, there's the male, that black one with the bent dorsal is the female, there's 11 uh, Aeneas Corys, and then one big male pleco in C 
just kind of tail sticking out in that uh, rock there, that cave. Again, I got some more frog bait here. It doesn't do as well in this tank, but it's still doing pretty good. See the wood structure. Some val. This is um, playground sand, so the val scenario took a long time to get rid of it. Uh, but now, as you can see, it's, it's um, sending runners all over. This sword's doing fine, there's new leaves all the time, but it gets pretty beat up, I think, from that Plinko. And again, just a small hang on the back, um, and no heater up here either. But just some sand and pea pebble mix is in this tank. And you can see that uh, half a cube of brine shrimp is pretty decimated, especially by the time it gets to the bottom for these quarries. So, so yeah, that's the video. Oh, we got one more tank. Let's throw some pellets in here for these crayfish. I've got two crayfish in there. <clears throat> and today I'm gonna feed just the cobalt uh, tropical. And um, let's put a few in there. I do have some frog bit in here. Just trying to combat some algae. in this tank. So I'll put some glue in there. It's, it's doing pretty well. You can see there is some root structure. I've got two crayfish. I've got a small one there that's got no big claws because the big one uh, tore them off. Here comes the big guy here. trip to the uh, grout tank. I like feeding this. It's the next best thing, I think, to live baby brine. Um, it's super small, so it's really easy for small fish. And this is just a little scooper. Hold on one second. And you can see I just pour it on the top there. It floats for a while. And it's really great for the baby fish. Um, the smaller fish, they're too small to eat that um, frozen food. We'll get after that pretty good, and everybody will eat this. So try to keep these guys well fed. Help with uh, them growing up.
notice we don't take the time to stop and 